Good morning, guys. Welcome to today. We are moving slow today. Uh, I mean, slow. Never been this slow. <laughs> but it's okay. What was that? That's weird. Anyway, welcome to today. It's the crack of dawn. Look at you can see the mist on the ground. Do I see it? So beautiful. My brother has lived in the city his whole entire life. And then a few, like a year ago, maybe two years ago, he moved to the country and hated it. Could not handle it. Like he said, it's just so quiet. He just didn't feel comfortable. So he moved back to the city. But for me, I lived in the city my whole life. And then the minute I moved to the country, I felt so much peace and so much joy and so much happiness. And it was just like a, just like a one acre property we had two neighbors one across the road and one beside us and honestly I never looked back man it is so much better but it's funny how like you like what you like you're built the way you're built you're made the way you're made oh my gosh this is why you don't bring your dog down when she's little she's so <coughs> stop let her run let her move it was all fun and games until she grew up wasn't it all right Oh, he's sound asleep. Look at him. Isn't he so cute? Wait, is he breathing? I don't see any breath. Wait, do I see a breath? My sister would kill me. Oh, I think I saw a breath. <laughs> oh my gosh. And this one pees every time she sees me. And he's up. <laughs> he just needed to catch his last few Z's. Is that what it was? <laughs> See his little bed that he makes? If he's cold, he goes under those blankets. But if he's nice and warm, he goes in that little ditch he made. Anyway, good morning and welcome to today's video. I'm sure I said that already. We are headed to a horse show. It's a different place we've never been before in our whole entire lives. But we've done a show like this before. This is just a smaller... A smaller series or not a series it's a smaller show place we're excited though I invited our friends to come barn boots but now their daughter's gone away to school and it's fall and they have like so many other things that they're doing and I kind of left it till the last minute so they're not coming but we're gonna try and find another place to go together hi little man oh man he is he's so cute he's like hmm I know what's on his mind. Don't get too close, Ellie. I can't even move fast if I wanted to. This is craziness. Being sick is no joke. If Sophie the choice to show today or to not show today because she's feeling unwell as well. It's not so overwhelming that she feels like she's gonna throw up or anything like that. It's just a general feeling of not feeling well. Just like some pressure in your head a little. Sinus cold is what it is. So, I told her she's enough to show if she doesn't want to, or we could go and she figured it out, and she could figure it out as she goes. She can, she can get there and decide she doesn't want to show. She could get there and do one division, and then if she still feels good, do the other, and if she doesn't feel good, cancel that one. Like, I'm just gonna let her do her own thing. I'm just gonna let her decide what she feels the best doing. You know, I was thinking about how I've been trying to stop hating seeing the bad things in life and yesterday i was talking about how i'm losing ellie to the puppy ellie i know you're my baby you're my baby oops don't get up on me because you're all wet but anyways i should have been thinking to myself how i'm not just losing ellie i'm gaining another friend <laughs> whether i wanted one or not and actually i was the one that was against getting her just looking at animals rises my dopamine levels and that my friends is a wrap let's go to a horse show you guys can you see that it looks wait I'll take you in the barn I always want to be that person that stops and sees the beauty around me like, it's just it looks like mountains in the back it's just trees it's beautiful though could stand here all day oh. she's like oh look at her hair it's growing so fast now <laughs> don't wipe it on me don't wipe it on your horse. All right. Oh my gosh, look at her leg. 
That's not my problem. That's your problem. <laughs> Sophie and I feel terrible. You'd think we never had a head cold before. I mean, I haven't, not for a lot of years, but Sophie gets them always. I did not find any of my clothes last night. I didn't do any. I felt so bad that I wasn't there. I said to Sam, how did last night go? And he said, I guess, fine. Why? I said, because I felt bad I wasn't there to be able to control everything. Yeah, I have to get money. I know, I didn't even get money yet. I need to go to the bank machine. We're going. Waiting for who? We're all outside. Uh oh, is that Gabby with a cold? Oh, get outside. Uh oh. Even Lady's feeling like she's not into it today. She always takes two tries. Hey, stay. Get up there. Get up. There we go. Two tries. Look at that. <laughs> I'm just mesmerized by nature. I don't think you guys can see it. Red sky in the morn. Sailors be warned. It usually means that, that bad weather is coming. You guys, I needed to wash my hair last night. But I needed to sleep more, so we're going with a dirty head. Hopefully we have masks in this car because we're all going to have to wear a mask, even though we're going to be outside, which is going to be a lot better than being inside. So one of the things that I didn't get done was I didn't clean the boots of the girl that we're loaning a bunch of show stuff to. Um, I washed these, but I noticed that they're like peeling off a little. So I don't know if she'll wear those. Hopefully she has someone else. Someone else is bringing stuff too, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. But Gabby has a cold. Do you have a cold? Yeah. Yep, we all have a cold. So, Sophie and I, I got it first. Sophie got it. My friend was over last week and she had allergies. Allergies. And she's coughing, coughing, coughing. Allergies. No coughing allergies. Well, apparently she does. And then, and poof, literally a couple days later, I had allergies too. Now we all have allergies. Isn't that crazy how that works? All right, we are here. And people are walking their horses around. Ladies looking so cute. She actually was just standing there looking at all the horses. She's like, oh, I know what this means. <laughs> She's looking. That's what <coughs> That's what I love about her. She looks at everything. So we're actually at a fair. And it's one that we've never been to before. It's all brand new. And I think she's going to do amazing. <laughs> she's such a sweet girl. She looks a little upset, though. So we are meeting friends here. Scissors? scissors? Oh, I, have, I have lots of scissors. I have better scissors if you want them. But we are meeting friends here. But look at Lady. I don't know if you guys can tell. She loves Sophie being near her. Like, she takes... She takes confidence from Sophie just being near her. Her eyes soften, she relaxes. Sometimes she stares back at Sophie and she just is so much happier when Sophie's with her. We're trying to figure out if we should braid the forelock. We think it's time, lady. The bad news is I can't find one of Sophie's gloves. She likes to wear these um, kunkel gloves. And I have other gloves she can wear, but she, these are her favorite. So that means it's time to take every single thing out of our tack trunk. And that's what's good about when you come to a show early. You can literally clean out all your stuff. And I literally do not see it. That is literally the saddest thing that we lost her one glove. We've literally had these gloves for three years. And this is our last pair, or at least our second last pair. I love them sad day when you lose your favorite gloves you guys a very sad day Sophie's trying to get her white stuff white you're gonna have to spray them. oh she's cutting off her feathers it's a record you guys the first time ever she's like what are you doing to me her forelock is finally able to be braided you officially look like a show horse now isn't that adorable her little button at the top so cute don't worry you're coming home with us don't worry. All right, here's the number, you guys, 471. Does it seem like a lucky number? I don't know. Every time I think it's a lucky number, it fails me. <laughs> Are you hoping to win today? I don't really care. Yeah, we don't care. This is just for experience, just for getting our horse out there, getting her used to being at a horse show. This is all new for her. We should have brought Storm to do the enhanced stuff. 
I know we should. I would have won that. It costs four dollars to for each division at That's this not show. Good. Four bucks. So you have to pay ten dollars each to get in. Yeah, so fourteen. Still, even a show that costs fifty bucks is so cheap. They're doing showmanship right now, and it's really cool. Like it's it's so amazing to just sit here and watch all this stuff. Like this is like a tiny town show, and they it's like older men showing their horses younger girls like it's just really cool trouble in paradise i see ladies not wanting to move forward but she's also raring to go all right sophie is coming in and and lady is excited all right this is warm up but we literally got the best spot we could sit in the shade and watch I can't see over the I can't see over the fence, so I have to sit up high on these bleachers. How do you feel? I don't think she's seen barrels before. You don't think she's seen barrels before? We have them. <laughs> and we're trotting. <laughs> Other than she looks like a cart horse. <laughs> Put your head down, lady. Put your head down. Chill out. Give her lots of pats, Sophie. <laughs> All right, definite trouble in paradise. I see she's trying to canter over there. The thing that we're having to work on the most is getting her to relax. How does she feel? Good, good. Wait, is that my horse? With her head down on the ground? What the heck? What a good girl. She looks good, Sophie. On the rail and a walk. There's our girl. She's looking calm. Look at that girl. Look at her. Putting her head down. Look how relaxed she looks. I can't even believe it. What the frig? Sophie is cold too. Hands up. being judged. I thought they already said that. Oh, oh somebody came in? <laughs> oh, look at her. Look at her. I can't even believe it. Oh my gosh. Trot or yeah, see you jog. later. Trot or jog. What? A oh, good girl she is. I mean, she's her head's up. Not nearly as relaxed now, but oh, there she goes. Look at her. Lots of little tiny kids in this class. Lots of big kids in this class, too. Look at that. Sophie just passed a tiny little horse. Walk, please. All walk. She doesn't like to stop. There we go. <laughs> Reverse and walk on, please. Reverse and walk on.
walk, please. All walk. Walk and line up. Facing your ring steward, please. Walk and line up. Lots of really cute ponies out there. Lots chubbier than Lady. <laughs> I love when the, I love this kind of a show because the judge talks to the riders. Yeah. One thing about Lady though, she likes other horses a lot, so she's like happy to just be in there with them. What? Your placings for class number seven, walk trot pleasure, eighteen and under. In third place is number four seventy one, Sophie. Ooh. Our whole family, it feels like crap. I probably feel the best. I probably feel the best out of all of them because today's day three for me. Sam's just starting to get sick. Gabby's just starting to get sick. Day one was the worst. Day two was bad. And day three is a lot better. You're going to be a lot better, Sam. Yeah. I need to sleep. I know. I told you. This is a sleeping sickness. But we did it. It's 11.29 and we are going home. We're going home and it was amazing. Sam brought all my favorite treats. These cakes. I love them but I can't even eat them. And I don't know if it's because I took that green pill today and I think that's why I feel so much better because it's like pure energy. But all, all I can drink is water. The lady just had a big drink too. You guys, it's crazy. You know who misses Pe a lady the most? It's Penny. She's out there screeching. Man, it feels good to come home. I love this farm. Two carrots she gets, Sophie says. Well, we made it through a horse show when we were all not feeling good. It's a miracle. See, she's right there. It's Penny. She might seem like she's not a very friendly horse, but she loves Lady. I know. Hold on, she's coming. Sophie decided that next time we do that show, we're taking Storm, and we're, the next time we do fairs, we're taking Storm too. Here you go. Here, you give them to her. Hey, don't eat my hand. She's such a love. She took so much confidence from Sophie. You want the other carrot? Here, take the other carrot. It's literally the first time we've gone to a horse show and all of us have not eaten anything. Usually we have to get up so early that we're starving by like 10.30 and we all make like a sandwich and, <clears throat> and eat when we get there and none of us could touch anything. So funny. Come here, baby. She's, she's so upset. Look, I have a carrot and she's like going to lady whoa thank you for being sweet thank you for being such a sweet girl oh i know carrots are good here she goes we have to do chores no yeah you can go lay down oh she's spitting out all of her carrots there she is she's like i'm back everybody hi baby wow i gotta clean up all the poop again hi baby Hi, Willow. Hi, honey. Oh, I missed you. She's going in to see Penny. It's okay. It's okay. Long ago, this barnyard was such a happening place. It had all of our animals, like our duck and our goose were here. And now, today, it feels like that again. Be nice. Don't you scare my piggy. Don't lay down here with this monster in the field. I love you, little piggy. All right, I'm going in and have a big drink and lay down for a little rest. And I'll be out to do chores, okay? Don't you do it. I also love this pony. She's such a good girl. 